Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Why Nail TV 2020. For those of you who don't know what you're looking at, this is my company's logo. I've been in business for four years now. I sell all natural products for the face and hair, feet, all of that. I have three pages on Facebook, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Love Handmade Soaps. Now, I told you I would give you an update on the coronavirus. So here it is. Here's what I have so far. The coronavirus is not only hurting China, but the pain is being felt in the U.S. as well. Here are some pictures of some pedestrians walking in the Chinatown Square area in Chicago, Illinois. It is a ghost town. Business is down at least 50% at some restaurants. There's believed to be two confirmed cases in Chicago. The first case was announced on January 24, 2020. A person had traveled to Wuhan, China, and the second case was confirmed on January 30th, 2020, in a house-to-house, house, closed house contact. Those two cases, both patients have been released from the hospital. In Jolay, Illinois, a 19-year-old, Tyler Wallace, walked into him and his accomplice, a 17-year-old, walked into a Jolet, Illinois, Walmart with a mask and sign and spraying some type of substance, later to be determined Lysol, telling people to be cautious, he has the coronavirus. Now, Authorities have charged the 19-year-old Wallace with disorderly conduct, retail theft, and criminal trespass to property. The gag isn't so funny anymore, is it? Wallace bail was lowered from 20000 to 10000 When Barrett, Wallace's attorney, told Wallace he will not be allowed to visit Walmart, Wallace replied, does that mean all Walmarts? His attorney encouraged him to lay low. Walmart estimates the loss of the produce to be more than $7,000 and the cleanup cost more than $2,400. Not so funny now, is it? Pets are even wearing face masks amongst the outbreak in China. This is a sensitive, intensive care unit where 1,700 Chinese medical workers have already been infected and six have died. The medical workers are forced to accept and wear subpar gowns, gloves, and masks because the supply is so scarce. I don't know if China has a Red Cross, excuse me, over there or what type of aid they have when they have this type of disaster. But somebody needs to chip in and help out over there. This is not a laughing matter. It's very serious. And everyone needs to take it seriously. Although the U.S. has, you know, the disease hasn't come over here in droves, doesn't mean it won't happen. Everyone needs to take precautions, washing their hands constantly, uh, cough, sneeze in your elbow, do whatever you can to keep your germs to yourself. If you have a fever or if you feel like flu-like symptoms, nine times out of 10, it's not the coronavirus if you're in the U.S., but always go to a doctor and make sure that it is just a flu or just a bad cold. Okay, you guys, let me know what you think about this coronavirus in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.